going on guys welcome back to another new york vlog um thank you guys for all the love and all the support remember to hit that like button subscribe turn notifications so you know whenever i post and um this is gonna be a little bit of a difference this is the first time i ever went to a wwe show and you guys know i've been a fan of wwe for a while uh shout out to my cousins for you know purchasing tickets for me and taking me down there etc i got to see the barclays center and um I didn't vlog me getting Chick-fil-A, but we did get Chick-fil-A. It was burst, bro. Like, it, I'm, when I'm telling you this, this small little branch had so many people in it. I didn't even feel comfortable pulling out my camera and, and vlogging and stuff. Because, you know, you still don't want to have people's face in it, etc. But um, I'm just going to remind you guys about Super Chats and memberships. If you want to see the memberships, you can go through all the tiers and see which ones you want to get access to but um thank you guys for all the love and all support on this i'm gonna just show you some clips and stuff um because of wwe has some copyright i can't show everything but i just want to show you guys a little bit of what i experienced and us singing to like brock lesnar's song and seth rollins and all that kind of stuff but uh yeah hopefully you guys enjoy WWE show, what's hey, up y'all? Oh boy. Yeah, I'll see you guys. I'll see you guys. 
That's how you know I'm not used to the cold, but it is what it is, y'all. But yeah, I'll be back later. Okay, so you know they they had a little bit of uh, dart matches. It was uh, Braun Breaker versus Akira Tozawa. And then we got right into the action of a Beth Link, Beth, uh, Becky Lynch promo. And then um, I believe it was a Street Profits versus Judgment Day. This was a pretty good match. Uh, you could really tell that people really hate Dominic. But yeah, it was. we were teasing him and stuff. In the next clip, you'll, you'll, you'll actually hear that. And uh, yeah. <laughs> different seeing it in person and not having like commentators or anything like that that's which is pretty cool um i think we are in an ad break right now so yeah that's crazy but anyways um yeah that's pretty cool so far and, uh yeah. I signed this contract last week. The Beast, Brock Lesnar. And while signature does not make the contract official, I need a second signature on this contract, and I need it right now. If we could please, Adam. Oh yeah.
chance. All in. The truth is, Tony, I don't know. Okay? I don't know. Because you haven't seen what I've seen, okay? I've been in the trenches with the bloodline. We got a little more extra room here, Willie. If you're asking me if I believe I am capable of beating Roman Reigns, yes! Yes, I believe that! If you're asking me if I think I'm capable of becoming the undisputed Universal Champion, yes, I believe that! If you're asking me if I think I'm worthy of beating WrestleMania main event material, yes! If I actually think that I'm going to be the one walking out of Montreal as the new undisputed Universal Champion, I don't know. Okay, Cody, I don't know. All right, guys. So from here, we had um, just a little bit of match with Oscar and some of the people that did uh, Elimination Chamber. And then, you know, we, we got the boy Seth Rollins in here, but I'm not going to play the music because I know for sure that's copyright and I actually don't want to risk any more. So I might not, I might do more of a voiceover from here and out, but bro, I mean the Seth Rollins thing, bro. Like when you see it on TV, it's like, you, you know that people are there hype and stuff like that. But when you're in person, bro, singing the song, the whoa, it, bro, it sounds so cool, bro. It's like, it's like the atmosphere and everything. You could feed off of everybody in the in, in the arena and stuff like that. And, bro, Saffron is like one of the hottest superstars. And plus, he had all these ugly boots, bro. I'm like, damn. And, and I know, I know, like, it's probably something to do with pop culture. I remember somebody had them on that day or something like that. And he just took advantage of that. And it was really, really cool to see and stuff like that. So, I mean, so far, this promo with uh, Seth Rollins and Miz and stuff like that, that was really, really cool. Um, I'm not really a fan of Logan Paul, if I'm being completely honest. But, I mean, I can't deny that he's doing some, okay, good stuff in WWE. He's making WWE some money and he's making his own money. So, I'll never knock a man on his grind. But at the same time, it's like, bro, you got to you gotta chill when it comes to social media and, and what you're doing and how you're affecting people. But this promo was good. It was starting to put over stuff for WrestleMania. And, and it was really it was a really impactful thing for us to see. So, yeah. Anyways, uh, guys, I'm going to wrap up this vlog here. It's, it was a really cool time seeing WWE. I really hope that I don't get copyright strikes on this. Um but um yeah thank you guys for all the love and all the support hopefully you guys enjoy it i'll see you guys next time have a great day and have a great week remember to go after all you guys goals and your dreams you guys got this um i'm gonna head out now and um yeah thank you guys again i'll see you guys next time peace everybody